Mobius camera is an excellent little mini camera. Plenty of people are already using this as a dash cam, but I thought I'd try out some of these optional accessories to see if I could make it into a hidden dash cam. For that purpose, I've bought this long USB lead so I can put the wire all the way around my windscreen and hide it up behind my rear view mirror. I've got this extended lens wire which will take the lens unit away from the camera so I can hide the camera unit away. I've also bought a new wide angle lens because mine is the standard angle lens version and I've got this capacitor as well which is ideally suited for using it in the car charging it over and over again because of course a capacitor doesn't wear out the same way that a battery would do if you were constantly charging it. Now I'm going to show you how you install those lenses and things, or the lens into the camera. I'll show you how to take it apart first of all. It's got two little Phillips screws inside these holes. It's a very easy camera to take apart this one by the way, very simple. So just unscrew those two. Now you've got to hinge it up from the lens end and pull it towards the lens because you can see you've got these holes in the back here which go into these clips on the back so you don't want to snap anything off but it's very easy to do. Now um, take out the battery because I'm going to be replacing it with a capacitor. Of course you don't have to do any of these things it will work on its own as a dash cam. The only reason I'm doing this is to demonstrate these different options all together in one video rather than do lots of silly little videos about things. Now I've taken that out to take the next thing out I'm taking the lens out here this is very easy as well. It's not glued in or stuck down or anything like that. It's just wedged in. So you just pull it up like that and you can see it's on a little ribbon cable here that connects into this thing at the back. Now to get that ribbon cable out, you lift up that gray bit at the back. It's like a hinge. It pulls up towards the front. Hope you can see that there. And that means that the cable is now loose. So it's just a matter of pulling it and it'll just pop out like that. Very easy to take this apart. Now let's put those new bits in that we've got. So the first thing is, here's my new uh, wide angle lens that I bought. So I've got the lens cap on the end there. You can see on the ribbon cable here, it can only go one way up. That way it's got nothing on it. And on this side, we've got the little connector. So it's rather obvious which way round it goes. Now I could just put it in there like that if I wanted to have a wide angle Mobius camera or convert it, or maybe I'd scratch the lens or something, you can get a replacement. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna move it away from the camera on that extra wire so that I can take the lens away from the camera, hide the camera out of the way, and it gives me a bit more flexibility in positioning in, inside the car. So I'm taking that over there and I'm going to put the wire in between the two. Now you can see the wire that I've got here. It can only go one way around. The connector is on the left and the bit that goes in the camera is on the right. The connector is this complicated looking part here. It's the same as the part inside the camera really. It's got the same hinge up mechanism on the front here. A uh, little grey hinge. Hope you can see I've sort of hinged it up there. Uh, so basically hold that, slide in the ribbon cable with the connectors upright into the uh, side of that. Now this is a bit fiddly, I'll be honest with you. You've got to be a little bit careful with this. You don't want to damage anything. So it does take a little bit of time and patience in getting this into that connector. So don't force anything, just do it very gently and then click down or fold down that little bit at the back which will grip onto that ribbon cable and hold it nice and tight. Okay, so now we're going to put the other end into the Mobius camera. So a uh, similar thing, we've got to get it the right way up. So we've got the connectors on the top there. Now this bit is even more fiddly than the last bit because I've got the uh, camera, I've got the sort of circuit board inside the camera case and it's a little bit hard getting the right angle on this. In fact, it's incredibly difficult. It might be easy actually taking that circuit board out of the camera, unscrewing it, but I tried it this way and I managed to do it. But again, very fiddly, don't bend those connectors over. You don't want to damage them. So it's in now, so that's both ends connected. So now we've got the uh, unit with the lens on a long wire. We're just going to put this capacitor in. Now the idea of the capacitor is instead of the battery being charged over and over again, the capacitor just works like a sort of very short term battery. Just uh, keeps the camera running basically. It's got a little bit of a sticky back mount on there. This end has a plug which only goes in one way round. You can't get this wrong either. All these things are very simple um, so anybody can do them but uh, you do risk damaging things every time you mess around with something like this so just be a little bit careful. Anyway so that pushes in like that. Now before I stick it in I'm just going to see that the thing's working. I don't want to stick it on top and then find that the thing's not working. So I'm going to put the uh, micro SD card in the back there 
and then plug it in with the three meter long extended wire that I got with it. It also comes with some of these sticky back clips which will help me route it around the car. I'm going to have it go from the lighter socket all the way around up and over the rear view mirror and there's plenty of wire for that. Now when I plug it in you can see that the camera's started up and after a few seconds it starts recording the yellow lights flashing that's what I want it to do as a dash cam of course you can change all these settings in the menu I've put the latest firmware on this which has some new features like WDR mode that's for low light so hopefully this will work very well as a dash cam now now I'll put that little sticky back thing in there because I'm happy that it's working attach the super capacitor onto that just to stop it uh, rattling around inside the case I think that's the only real reason for that and then reassemble it so remember the back goes on first over those clips hinges down and then the front goes on and then it's just a matter of screwing in those two Phillips screws into the top of it so once you've got it all assembled, uh, the camera's ready to go. But of course, notice that wire there. It's got a big hole in the camera and also that attachment uh, where it goes onto the lens isn't the best. So you're going to need to put some tape or something around that to block that hole up and wrap some around that so it doesn't come apart. Because that's not a strong join. That's going to fall apart pretty easily. So wrap that with some insulation tape or some gaffer tape or something. Now let's have a look how it works inside the car. Well, uh, I put it up behind my rear view mirror. You can't see it from the driver's side at all here or from the passenger side. I'll get an angle on from the side so you can see where I've got it. Now it's not perfect. I'm not too happy with the way I've got it. I need some different tape and some different mounts and things, but you kind of get the idea. Obviously it depends very much on your own car, how this would fit in it, but you get the idea. You've got a little tiny lens that you can stick somewhere and then you keep the other unit separate to that. Of course, you've got to have it out in the open because it's got those heat sinks on it and you've got to wires going to it and things. But as you can see, it works very well as a dash cam. I've got it pointed a little bit to the left here. I could do is centering it a little bit, but as it is, it's a nice hidden dash cam that does the job. Now the idea with this is I'm going to forget it's there. It's just going to be recording all the time, every journey. I'm not going to have to think about it. Now you can get all these different things from one place that I've linked to in the description, or you can just get the particular one you want, whether it's a new lens or an extended lens wire, whatever. It's all there if you want to have a look at it. I'm not sure everyone will want to do what I've done, but I just wanted to demonstrate all the different things in one video. So that's it for the moment. As always, thanks for watching.